For this one, you are multiplying the factors together. If there are three, you can multiply the first two factors. Nine times two is 18, and then you can multiply by the third piece. So 18 times four, you would do four times eight is 32. Four times one is four, plus three more makes seven. For 72, you are just multiplying the numbers together for one through 10. Here it says create a situation to match the expression. Describe the similarities and differences between the expression 2 times negative 3 and the expression negative 2 times negative 3. So for this negative 3, we can think of it as a drop, a loss, a negative amount of money. So 2 is going to be how many times it occurs or how many groups. Two different times. Joe spent, right? Spent would be a subtract or a negative. Three dollars. Describe the similarities and differences between the two expressions. One similarity is they both have a factor of negative three. A difference is in the first. It is multiplied by a factor that is positive. And then the second expression it is multiplied by a negative factor. So we can think of this as two times they spent three dollars and this would be the opposite of spending three dollars twice. For problems three and four, complete the number sentences to make them true. We saw yesterday that when you multiply a positive by a negative number, you have a negative product. One times negative three would be negative three, but we need the opposite of that, putting us back at positive three. Two times negative three would be negative six, but the opposite would put us back to positive six. 3 times negative 10 would be negative 30. Negative 1 times negative 10, well, 1 times negative 10 is negative 10, but we need the opposite, making it positive 10. 2 times negative 10 would be negative 20, but we want the opposite of negative 20, which is positive 20. You can see it's counting by threes here, negative nine, negative six, negative three, zero, three, six. This one's counting by tens, negative 30, negative 20, negative 10, zero, 10, and 20. Use properties to fill in the blanks to determine whether the conjecture is true or false. Remember, conjecture is just a fancy math word for a hypothesis. All right, so the conjecture says negative two times negative three equals six. In line one, it wants us to use the zero product property. So negative two times what number makes zero? Well, any number times zero gives us zero. Here we are using additive inverses to make zero. Negative three plus three would equal zero and zero times negative two is zero. Now we're using the distributive property, so that first one says negative two times negative three, and the second one should say negative two times positive three. Well, negative two times positive three is negative six. That's three losses of two dollars, or a loss of six dollars. So in order to get zero, 
out of this expression. This one needs to be positive 6 because positive 6 plus negative 6 equals 0. So then in conclusion, this has to equal positive 6. So back to our conjecture, negative 2 times negative 3 must equal positive 6. For problems 6 through 10, evaluate the expressions. 1 times 3 is 3, 5 times 2 is 10, and 3 times 10 is 30. 1 times 3 is 3, 5 times negative 2 is negative 10, and 3 times negative 10 would make negative 30. 1 times 3 is 3, negative 5 times negative 2, that would make positive 10, and 3 times 10 is 30. Try number 9 and 10 on your own, and then come back after you pause the video to check your work. You should have that number 9 is negative 30, and number 10 is positive 30. Go ahead and try 11 as well. For this first piece, negative 1 times negative 3 is a positive 3. Negative 5 times negative 2 makes a positive 10. 3 times 1 makes a positive 3. Here I have 3 times 10 is 30, and we still have that extra 3 multiplied in. 30 times 3 is 90. Pause the video here and finish the remaining 2 for problem 11. This one has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 negatives, and it comes out to a negative. This one has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 negatives, and it comes out to a positive. This one had 1, 2, 3, 4 negatives, and it came out to a positive. So think about maybe if there's a pattern in the number of negatives multiplied together, that would indicate whether your final answer would be positive or negative. So a similarity here in problem 12 is that they both have 3 and a negative symbol. And they're both going to have a value that is equal to negative 3. But a difference is that this one is read as negative 3. And this one we would say the opposite of 3. They both equal negative 3. But this one is called negative 3 and this one we would say the opposite of 3. In problem 13, both have a value of negative 7. Here this is negative 1 times 7 for the first one. And the second one would say the opposite of 7. But they both equal negative 7. In number 14, they both come out to negative 8, but that first one would be negative 2 times 4. And the second, we would say the opposite of the product of 2 and 4. So the product of 2 and 4 is 8. The opposite of 8 is negative 8. Negative 2 times 4 is also equal to negative 8. For problems 15 and 16, predict whether the value of the expression is negative, positive, or negative without calculating, and explain your reasoning. So, regardless, this would be 4 times 3, but then we'd need the opposite of that, the opposite of that, and the opposite of that. There are 
three negatives presented here. So we know that if there's one negative, like negative four times three, that that comes out to a negative value. But we saw that when we had a negative four times a negative three, that would come out to a positive. So this one had one negative, and this one had two negatives. We also saw back in these problems that when there were four negatives, four of them related to a positive, but one, two, three, four, five of them corresponded to a negative answer, and one, two, three, four, five, six of them corresponded to a positive answer. So you might start to notice, we saw that two was positive, and one was negative, that the evens all came out to positives, but the odd amount of negatives result in a negative product. So here on number six, 15 and 16, this has one, two, three negatives multiplied together. So this should result in a negative value because there are a there are an odd number of negatives multiplied together. In number 16, there are one, two, three, four negatives. So that would be a positive result. Because an even, four is an even number, so an even number of negatives were multiplied together. And it doesn't ask us to find the answer, it just asks us to explain whether it would be positive or negative and then come up with our reasoning. Make sure the products are finished in your warm-up and your workbook is filled in for this lesson.